Welcome to Teen YPWW, Lesson 1. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is Bethel, the History and Geography, Part 1. The lesson text is found in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 9, and Genesis chapter 35, verses 1 through 3. The memory verse for today's lesson is, And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land, and there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 9. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old, when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sychem, unto the plain of Morah. And the Canaanite was then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent having Bethel on the west and Hai on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed going on still toward the south. Genesis chapter 35 verses 1 through 3. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. The key for today's lesson. God chooses specific places that are symbolic in our lives. Today's focus. God calls families to the ministry for his divine purpose. This quarter, we will review the importance of geographical locations in ministry and how God uses these locations to stir the hearts of his people. Ask any realtor that you know about the importance of the location of a business, and I'm sure that their response would be that location is everything. The success of many companies in our world is a direct reflection of their location. Although several other essential elements are needed to have a successful business, a great location is one of the most critical requirements for success. In our families, we visit particular locations that have significant meanings in our lives. These locations are noteworthy. They represent important people and events in our lives. The home of our grandparents, schools, the neighborhood park, and for some of us, the nearest McDonald's are all important places in our lives. I hope that your local church makes your list of important places in your life. 
That is what this series of lessons is about. Where do we go to encounter the presence of God? Where can we go to understand the Word of God? The answer is the house of God. Our memory verse is one of the first biblical references to the geographical location of Bethel. It is also a snippet of God's conversation with Abraham about his future and his descendants. After this conversation with God, Abraham pitched his tent near the city of Bethel, on the west, in the city of Hai, on the east. In this location, Abraham built an altar unto the Lord so that he could reverence the place that God had made his word clear to him. After this encounter with God, Abraham left to visit Egypt. When he returned to Bethel, he visited the altar he built there to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God for protecting him and Sarah while they were in Egypt. From this time in history, Bethel became an important place in the lives of Abraham's family. It also became known as the place where the Hebrew people met with God. Bethel was known as the house of God and is mentioned over 60 times in the Old Testament. Bethel served as the pivotal place of communication with God. It was revered and deemed an essential place for several of the Old Testament patriarchs. Just as Bethel is a significant place in the history of the nation of Israel. Likewise, it takes on a similar spiritual significance for us in our spiritual growth. Spiritually, Bethel represents a place where we can go to have an encounter or reckoning with God. It is a place where we can guarantee that we will get a download from the heaven of practical information that will help us. At Bethel, you can also start over again in your pursuit of righteousness and living a saved life. Let's review the geography of the city, Bethel, during biblical times. It was located west of the city of Ai, as shown on the map. And you may have a, a map on Google or a map in your Bible. It was northwest of Jericho, the first city that the Israelites conquered when they entered the Holy Land. It was north of Jerusalem. It had four springs, which yielded good supplies of fresh water. The surrounding terrain was bleak and barren and marked by a succession of stony terraces. God promised Abraham that he will give the land surrounding Bethel to his descendants. The city of Jerusalem, located south of Bethel, eventually became Israel's spiritual and political center. Students review the relevance of important places in their lives. The meaning of the word Bethel is given and why it was a significant place during biblical times. Questions for you today, for today's lessons. Question one, what are two of your favorite places that you or your family visit? Question two, why does God put significance on the different places we cherish in our lives? Question three, what is one of the historical values of Bethel? in the Old Testament. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. Let your word continue to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. In the name of Jesus, give us a spirit of excellence, Father. Help us to search out your scriptures. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.